Hey, what's up guys? Um, this is Abby from 8931B, and I'm here to show you how to start an award-winning notebook. Um, so I've been in charge of my team's notebook for a long time, and I get questions all the time uh, about where to even begin. Uh, so I'm here to show you my notebook for this year, which is um, in the zone. And first, like I already said, I've been doing this for years. Um, so looking at my notebook, it might seem a little intimidating and overwhelming. Um, I want to say that I don't expect first or even second year teams to have notebooks um, that look like this. I'm just here to show you some ideas for where you can start. Um, so first, we always start our notebooks with a um, table of contents. Um, you should know this from all of your school classes already. And um, you're going to want the page, um, the title, and the date, and that's basically it. Um, sometimes we'll inc include like hours worked um, on our robot. Uh, but we haven't done that this year. Um, so, next what we do is a game outline. Um, it doesn't have to be this elaborate. Um, you could even just copy and paste stuff from the game manual. Uh, but basically we have a little map of uh, what our game looks like, um, some important rules, some scoring stuff. Um, just basically read over the um, outline that, they, that Vex gives you and maybe highlight and um, underline some important stuff and just transfer that into your notebook. Um, judges love to see that you've um, really looked at what this year's game is before you start um, developing your ideas. Um, next, this is gonna be one of the most impo important parts of your notebook, it's the design brief. Um, this looks like a lot of writing um, because it is. Uh, design briefs are kind of boring to do and they kind of suck, but they're really important so you need to make sure to do one. So in a design brief, if you've taken any engineering class, you probably have already heard the term. Um, we have who's on our design team, and this year it's me, Chantel, and Eli. Uh, and we have our rules underneath our pictures. We have a game overview, uh, which is basically what the game is. Um, problem statement, which is what problem are we trying to solve here? I just said, you know, we have this VEX game and we want to score points and, you know, win competitions and stuff. Um, Next, you have your design statement. Um, usually every year I start this out with design, build, and compete with a robot that blank. Um, you can fill in the blanks after that. Um, constraints, uh, basically, you know, your robot has to be 18 by 18, VEX materials only, that sort of thing. And the next part, which is what will get you a lot of awards, is potential strategies. Um, I have so, this whole part of my page is um, strategies. So we have some defensive strategies offensive strategies, um, match setup. So basically here's where you're gonna wanna explain like what you think you're gonna see throughout the season. This is you predicting uh, what types of robots you're gonna see at state or at worlds um, so that you know what to prepare for in the beginning. Um, next, uh, brainstorming. So this is the fun part. This is where you get to sit down with your team and really think about what you wanna do this year, what you wanna build and create. Um, so basically I listed robot components. We have a lift this year, a base, and an intake and an outtake. Um, and then we have a couple ideas that we were shooting around and I just drew um, little tiny sketches. They don't have to be anything too crazy. I mean, you could make them like little stick figures if you want, um, it doesn't really matter. Um, and basically just a little tiny description of what they are. Um, and then here's another important part of your notebook that you're gonna wanna include. Um, I have a decision matrix here. So basically I took um, all of our different designs. Um, so we had maybe a scissor lift, double reverse four bar, six bar, four bar, and uh, basically graded them on what we thought was important. And then at the very end, you're gonna add up all of your scores. Um, we scored these out of 10. And you could see double reverse four bar got the highest score. So that's what we went with as far as design. And we basically did that for the rest of our game um, components. We have our base and our um, base decision matrix and stuff like that, intake, outtake, decision matrix. Uh, we also had a mobile goal intake that we had to do. Um, here again is another really important part, um, which is your, your sketches. Um, judges love to see sketches. Um, so these are pretty detailed. You don't have to go this um, crazy about it. Um, but like I said, I've been doing this for a long time. Um, Basically, there is a certain way um, that engineers are supposed to set up their sketches. You're going to want to look at your top view and then almost flip it like your front view. And then for this, you're going to want to twist it to your side view. 
Um, so you're going to want to have at least three different views of your sketch, um, and you're going to want to label them so that the judges know exactly what they're looking at. Um, so I have sketches for everything that we did. And here's where um, things get kind of annoying. So basically you have to document every single day that you work on the robot. Um, now if you go into club and you guys just messed around the whole time and didn't really get anything done, I wouldn't write that down in your notebook. Don't say, like, today we were at club and we tightened some screws and that was it. Like, you're going to want to only document the really important stuff because judges don't like to flip through 500 pages of notebook. Um, so basically, for these, we just explained what we did, um, why we did it, and then we had pictures with um, labels on there. So you're going to do this for the rest of the season documenting what you're changing, what you're doing, and why. You need to make sure you include why you're making these changes. And then another part that we like to do is a tournament breakdown. So after every single tournament, we kind of um, evaluate how we did. Um, so we have a little pie chart, win to lose ratio. Um, you can tell that this tournament didn't go too well for us. Um, but we include all of our matches um, and how we did and like why we did that way. So if we lost, um, we make sure to say, this is why we lost, you know, we need to improve this. Um, uh, and then we also include noteworthy teams. This is a scouting page. I usually have um, Chantel, our scout, um, write stuff up for us. Um, basically, um, we list some teams that were really good and why they were good and maybe uh, why we might want to borrow some of their ideas. Um, and at the very end, um, this is really important also. Uh, we basically decide if we want to change anything to our robot since the last competition. So were our goals met? We list all of the goals that we had for this season. And as you can see, I um, highlighted the ones that we didn't meet. And so then I said, you know, we didn't meet all of our goals, so we're going to need to make some changes. So then I go on to the revisions. I made a little timeline here um, so that the judges know that we were definitely thinking about um, how to spend our time wisely. And then we have all of the revisions that we wanted to make. Um, more sketches, obviously. And then we started again with uh, documenting what we were doing, what we were changing sort of thing. Um, another important part that a lot of people skip over is including some type of code in your notebook. You don't have to do this, but if you want to set your notebook apart from others, then it's a good idea. Um, so I will say that the big takeaways from this video is that sketches are very important. Judges love to see sketches. Um, like they say, that they want to be able to replicate what you did um, by looking at your notebook. So you're going to want to have um, pretty detailed sketches that um, so that they know what exactly you built and what you changed. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful in some way. And uh, see you guys later.